As winter season slowly approaches, we need to make sure we're fully prepared. Speaking to our local pharmacist should be your first port of call when it comes to professional health advice and knowing how to keep your immune system strong going into the winter. We chat to pharmacist Franz Landman on how to make the most of our pharmacists going into the winter. Now, girlfriend, I mean, does it make you excited when you know that during this time, everyone around South Africa is going to be queued up waiting to see you? I'm so excited about this because your pharmacist is step one in your health care and there's a lot of barriers now including PPE and people's fear and resistance so to speak to a pharmacist now is a great opportunity. Absolutely I mean Franz pharmacists are essential in the health industry so why is it important to consult your pharmacist? Um, I think what is important for me is that a pharmacist is accessible. You, you, you can go and speak to your pharmacist and you don't have to make an appointment um, your pharmacist is ready there to, to hear everything that you need to know about healthcare, medicine, diseases, you can speak to them first. You do not have uh, to be worried to speak to your pharmacist. Franz, I think pharmacists are often underestimated. Can you just remind us, what are the different ways that a pharmacist can assist? I think the different ways that a pharmacist can assist is the pharmacist is a medicine expert. But apart from that, um, when we deal with public, public will come to me and they will ask simple things that they are so worried about that they do not know the answer to it. We can assist them. We can tell them this is serious. Go to your healthcare provider. We can refer them. Um, we are also a PCDT pharmacist. So we uh, consult the public. The public will come to us and speak to us and we will then lay their fears and say, this is what you need to do. Um, this is the, the correct way of treating your disease. Now, Nicole, maybe you can also help me understand this um, in collaboration with France. I want to find out, as winter is slowly approaching, what should we be asking our pharmacists to prepare ourselves for flu season? That's actually a great question, Franz. It's specifically, how do we empower a patient coming in or a customer to ask the right questions of their pharmacists? Um, I think especially with the coronavirus pandemic that we, uh, that we have, people are very worried they sit with symptoms, they do not know what to ask. I think when it comes to preparation, preparation is for me the, the best thing to do. And it's not just about medicine, it's about lifestyle. Um, you will see that medical aids today, they, they embarrass people, they really give people uh, uh, good marks for, for doing vitality testing, for our, our general comorbidities, it needs to be controlled. Uh, smoking cessation, it is so important to keep your, your patient healthy. Your client must be a healthy client and that will help them going into winter. Well, certainly, Pally, my advice would be, when in doubt, don't ask Google, ask your pharmacist. <laughs> yes, girl. Well, Franz, I'd like to know, why is it important to build a healthy immune system going into winter? I think if we can get to the immune system, if I can maybe in short explain that your immune system is, is actually compromised when your mucous membranes in your skin are, is not intact. During winter, especially with cold air and with um, dry air and, and, and uh, pollution that's more pronounced, the mucous membranes is under attack. And we need to protect that mucous membranes. You will see that during the coronavirus time, the doctors has been prescribing vitamin C, uh, vitamin D and, and, and zinc. And why is that? That is to keep our skin intact. But apart from that, you also need to look at your immunity, and, and, and there are two sides to the immunity. The one is your innate immunity, that is your immunity that you are born with, and the other one is the acquired immunity. And one of those things for me that is important is your, your flu vaccination. Now, the coronavirus is an adenovirus, and they're busy rolling out the vaccines for that. But for me, the, the flu vaccine is very, is very um, it's neglected. People don't think that it's important to do the flu vaccine anymore. And that's one of the, the ways of, of, of strengthening yourself and getting yourself ready for one. Completely understood. And I appreciate us being able to have these conversations. But, you know, before we let you go, finally, what should patients remember to do when visiting a pharmacy during the COVID-19 pandemic? And, of course, how can your pharmacist help you during this time? For me, very important, and I see it with the customers coming to us as well, they are so scared of speaking to somebody when they have symptoms, when they have a sore throat, when they have flu. What am I going to do? Am I going to be let in at the pharmacy? Will somebody look at me? Yeah. For me, it's important. That the moment that you get symptoms, the moment that you have a sore throat, um, that you, have, you lose your taste, you lose your, your sense of smell, 
Those are symptoms that are, for me, are serious. Get help. If you don't go to your pharmacist, at least go to your medical practitioner. Get help. That is so important because the quicker you can intervene with medication and strengthen the immune system, the better chance you have. Beautiful. Spot on. I think that people are sitting in fear at home and they're compromising their, their health outcomes by not just reaching out, whether it's a phone call, walking into a pharmacy and just speaking to somebody on the front line who cares. Absolutely. And not only are they risking it for themselves, but their entire family exposing them further to the virus and potential other sicknesses. Thank you so much as a pharmacist coming through to Afternoon Express and helping us understand how pharmacists can help during this time. Goodbye, Franz. Thank you. Goodbye. Now, Mzansi, it's that time again where we are just detailing such an incredible competition, truly changing people's lives. Yes, every week giving away a significant amount of money, which I think can make a real difference to people right now, Felicia. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. I mean, 5,000 Rand can go a very long way, but nothing's for Maala. Mzansi, <laughs> what we want to find out from you, do you have a survival story? Then we want to hear from you. From falling off a tree, a snake bite, or even escaping your neighbor's crazy dog. We want to hear your story. Imuenza is giving away 5,000 Rand a week for five weeks. And all you have to do is reply to the Imuenza competition post on the Afternoon Express Facebook page or Twitter page and tell us your survival story and what protected you using the hashtag Imuenza. The competition closes on the 17th of March 2021 at midnight and terms and conditions can be found on afternoonexpress.co.za. Help support your immune system for your next big adventure with Immuenza.